Hello, it's Maybird. Hello, it's Maybird. Today I want to show you how to take the trains in around Tokyo. There are lots of train lines compared to other big cities. It's really convenient traveling in Japan, but you might need to transfer to other lines, so Japanese don't usually buy tickets each time. Why buying tickets for each time is not a good idea? When you don't have a card, I mean train pass, you need to buy a ticket for the exact train and trip that you are taking. You need to know how far you are going, then find it on the map, then calculate how much you need to pay for that ticket each time. That's too much work. We use this card called Suika. And Pasmo. It saves you so much time and trouble of buying ticket every time. You just need to charge your card and you can use it when you take trains and buses and taxis. Also, you can use it at convenience stores and fast food shops and restaurants and department stores to pay for your items. It's a prepaid type of card, so you don't have to connect to your credit card and bank. You can get a deposit back when you finish your trip and don't need it anymore. Or you could just keep it as a souvenir. But I have some advice. Suica and Pasmo cost 500 yen for the card as a deposit. And of course you can get 500 yen back when you return it. If you deposited too much and you didn't spend all of it, you can get a refund when you return the card. But Suica takes 220 yen as fee for refund. Pasmo, they don't take any fee. So just remember, you can keep it as memory or keep it until you come back for a visit again. I want to show you how to get Suica and Pasmo and how to enter the station gate and exit. Please check this out. This is at one of the train stations. This is the ticket machine where you need to buy the card from. You need to find buy a new Suica. Suica and Pasmo are two different companies. So this time I'll show you how to get a Suica card first. Guidance will be displayed in English.
Next, I'll show you how to get a PASMO. Some pieces of fair information will be displayed in English. You can always charge your card at the train stations. Even you can charge your card at some convenience stores. I hope this video can help you one day when you visit Japan. Thank you for watching. Please push the like button and subscribe.